I'm Mary Fassell. Welcome to Survey 1, Classical Antiquity and Early Medieval. I'm standing in front of a wall of anatomical votives in the Archaeological Museum in Corinth in Greece. Now, you may have signed up for this course thinking that we'd be talking about Hippocrates and Galen, the greats of the ancient medical world. And you're right, we will be. But we'll also be talking about objects like these and exploring a wide array of healing practices. So what are these things? In ancient Greece, someone who was sick or injured might go to a healing temple and ask a god for help. There were lots of those temples, often dedicated to Asclepius. The sufferer asked the god for help, slept overnight in the temple, made offerings, there was a pretty well-recognized set of procedures. If the patient got better, often he or she would make an offering like these. These are clay models of the body parts that had been the problem. Thousands of these exist today. Eyes, breasts, arms, feet, you name it. I love these things. They are so evocative of an individual's encounters with healing in the very distant past. For me, they speak to some of the very long continuities in medicine the quest for a cure, the hopes and fears of patients, the very wide array of healing practices that has always characterized medicine. There's ways in which this wall is the distant ancestor of a similar array of crutches and braces at Lourdes in the south of France today. At times, the ancient world feels very distant to us, very far away indeed, but then, there are the moments when you read something or see an image and that world suddenly becomes very real and immediate to us. I hope that over these next weeks, I can help you to gain a deeper appreciation of that world.